if you can control the human to control the dog, <laughs> then it's probably okay mm. in most circumstances. If they're on leash, etc. Cats are really difficult because you just can't control a cat. Yeah. <laughs> With us tonight, we have the pleasure to talk to Martin Sarangapani. Yeah. Good pronunciation? Yeah. Spot on. Spot Thank on. you, my man. <laughs> Lovely. And Bex Woods. Hi, Bex. Hey, how are you? I'm good. How are you? Nice to see you both. It's nice to see you guys. <laughs> Fresh from Europe? Yeah. 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 Still slightly jet lagged, but getting there. Yeah. Which countries did you guys go to? We were pretty basic. We, I've got family in England, so we started there and we went up around Scotland through Wales and then did a whole lot of English pubs, pretty much. Wow, <laughs> fantastic. Yeah, we didn't actually leave the UK. We just thought, nah. let's just stay here, do it, do it right, do it well. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, it was really cool. I was thinking, I was like, man, are, are, are they there like to visit all the art galleries? <laughs> no, no, yeah, it's yeah, for no. the pubs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good, good English architecture. Yeah, there's a bit of art about. in the pubs. It was, yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's what I was thinking. There's always art eh, in the, at, at the pubs. Got more interesting after a few hours, so it was yeah. good. <laughs> were you were you born in in yeah. in, Europe, in the UK? Yeah, I was. Um, I was born in England and. I was there until I was six. So I did my first two years of school there and then we came over. And I've got a younger brother. I've got a bit of an accent sometimes. <laughs> no one else in my family does anymore. Oh, dad, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> and it was the first time that you, you went to the UK? Yeah, it? I'd never been there before. Been to Holland and Germany because yeah. oh, I'm half Dutch. But that's about as far over that way as I'd been. Oh. So, yeah, yeah first time. But you were born. I was born, born in New Zealand. Zealand. Yeah, born in Kawakawa, up north. Nice. So both artists. Yeah. You yeah. do you do other things, or you guys focus you, you, your full time artist? Mm -hmm. What's what's the vibe? No, uh, I'm a carpenter, and I'm a physio. So very much not full time artist. Yeah. It's it's still very hobby based for both of us, but we love it a lot, and it's really important for us to be artistic so mm. we try and kind of fit it in where we can at the moment is, yeah. is the goal one day to be full-time artist think for me I, i'd love that yeah. i'd really love that to be an option how i get there is always a little bit more difficult mm. especially uh, talking about houses and oh. um trying to get into markets here and stuff oh. having mm. um to get some cash basically to yeah. do that kind of stuff yeah. The art, you've got to focus so hard on it to get to that stage, I think. Mm. So at the moment, it's it's kind of cool as a side. Mm. But yeah, I don't know. What about you? Yeah, I don't know. I've always sort of tossed up the idea of being an artist to make work to sell or being an artist just because mm. you enjoy making work. Yeah. And, and I think I sort of go more that side, although I probably complain when I, when <laughs> I am making art that I'm not selling enough art. But yeah. But I actually enjoy just making art because I have something to say yeah. and then I make it and if it sells, it sells and if it doesn't, it doesn't mm. and it's just what it is, you know. And mm. yeah, I've got a couple of friends who um, they do art and they're really worried about taking a step from it being a hobby to it being a job, mm. you know. So then you sort of feel like, oh, I have to do this because yeah. I need to make money instead of just doing it because you want to. Mm. you know express yourself or yeah i think cool. about that a lot mm. like mm. am i gonna ruin making art for myself if i'm actually stressing about oh, i yeah. need to supply this gallery this week yeah. or this person wants this specific thing but i want to make that mm. or yeah so it's a difficult one what are the, the the formats that you guys usually focus on you 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 yeah. draw bags i draw mm. yep i draw and paint and then marky has got me into woodcut as well because yeah. that's been your forte recently yeah i do a bit of woodcutting so carving bits of mdf or lino and then rolling ink on it and squishing it through a press yeah. or rubbing the back of a spoon on the paper and making prints that's cool so there's a carving color. process first right yeah so you, first yeah. you carve what you want and yeah. then the printing goes is, yeah. that, is that the process yeah is that right yeah you so you have like a piece of uh uh MDF or Lino and you use chisels and you're carving out your picture. That's so yeah. cool. So it's actually, and now that I'm not that you, you, you explaining that, it's actually the opposite. You're not yeah. painting, you, 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 it's the reverse. Yeah, right? so you, whatever you want, white, 
that's what you carve. So normally yeah. when you're drawing with your pencil, you're drawing your dark, you know, you're, you're making the paper darker, whereas I guess with woodcut you're making everything light again. Mm. It's confusing. And it's in reverse. Starting. I mm. was like, I want this, and I draw it out, and then I had to think about how to get that, on paper mm. or onto the wood block afterwards. And Marky mm. does a lot of type and you actually have to carve it backwards first. So mm. it's um, it's confusing for me. He's really good at it. <laughs> it's an interesting concept because um, Mayo Davis uh, said once, the musician, he was like, oh, yeah. the, the, I, don't ex I don't remember exactly the quote, but it was something like, the, the beauty of music, it's, it's actually in the silence, in, in the spaces yeah. mm. that you don't play. It's when you don't play, yeah. you know, that makes that. So mm. I guess there's a little bit of that, you know, mm. like you're thinking about the spaces and like how you're going to compose that. Oh, totally. Like uh, one, of my, one of my tutors said, you know, look, it's not necessarily what you're drawing. It's, it's exactly that. It's all the spaces and you're looking at, you know, your blacks and your whites and your greys and just trying to make this nice connection between them all so it's not necessarily about this picture you're sort of looking at yeah were you were you picture. guys um into the arts from a, an early age was it something that was always with you yeah i think so yeah i right. always into doodling drawing yeah doing something you mm. know school books were a mess yeah, <laughs> yeah. Did, did you guys meet because of art or does it was it just uh, not nah. at all. Not at all. You just meet and then you both just loved art. <laughs> yeah, yeah we were cool. both just into it. Yeah. I don't think I even knew you were into art when I met you. Nah. You nah. I was I was living guiding. in a yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was a kite god. Yeah. So I did that before I was a builder. Yeah. And um that was quite a good job because I'd work all summer and then just have winter off. So mm. winter was a time to make art, you know, yeah. or, or just hang out or just do whatever. So I had a, a lot more free time. Mm. So I was probably a lot more productive in those years and now i'm a builder i'm kind of just working all the time yeah mm. uh, there's too much building to do so. so much building yeah do you stretch bro do you stretch stretch yeah because builders you know i guess physical physically yeah i you... try to get them to leo <laughs> oh, oh yeah so you were just oh, no. playing dumb with yeah, me yeah, like no, what, no. what are you talking about man? yeah, yeah. Talking about? No, no, no. <laughs> i'll get you down yoga <laughs> no i should i should and everybody i talk to is like oh i'm so glad i do this i should have done this years mm -hmm. ago and i'm like yeah i should start because i'm probably going to be you soon <laughs> saying the exact same yeah. thing so yeah i should because yeah. they've um, got, they've got, it's called Broga. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 But we live over the dark side hey, there, and it's such a Broga mission to get over here. <laughs> is there, no I don't excuse. know, what time is it? I can set you Do they do an there. after, after hours <laughs> session? I'd be keen. Yeah. If you start doing it, it's going to be for men anyway, right? Yeah. It's just up to you Stop. to yeah, say. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, uh, I, yeah, I'm making excuses. Yeah. <laughs> but you good. guys are pretty active, eh? Like, I, mm. I, I see you guys, like, traveling and being out in nature. Big, mm. big part of your life, eh? Yeah, sure. it is. Yeah. It's huge. I mean, Marky did a lot of outdoor education as part of his training, and I've just always been outside and active. Loads of sports, loads of tramping, surfing, surfing, mm. kayaking. So mm. that's pretty huge bit of our life. And obviously influences what, what we, do. we do. Yeah. Mm. And then oh, when, um, so when I when I see your paintings, uh, back so much nature there, mm. birds. So is, is is it something that really? Yeah, it it is, and it seems at times quite cliche, but it is so important to me. Nature and conservation is that's one of the very top things that is part of my life, and part of that is drawing these things and gaining awareness of what birds are doing what habitat they're in um what and that kind of fosters a bit of an understanding of okay well i need to keep that like i like looking at this so mm. what do i do to keep this bird safe or mm -hmm. and cool. so that's a pretty huge thing for me there's a, a big nature influence mm. to, to what i do and do you so do you take photos as well because i saw there were some photos on your yeah, yeah, I, I do. I like to. I've got a crap camera, but it's um, I've sort of learned how to use it. And we, yeah, I, I love taking photos and I try, it does help with my drawing as well. Because mm. if I can get a good composition and a photograph, then I can use that for drawing because yeah. 
takes too long to just draw from life sometimes. Well, we were talking about that, mm. weren't we? We were saying like it's incredible that like when you look at something and you draw it versus when you see it in your yeah. mind and mm. try and do the same thing. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Like it's so not not easier, but to yeah. see something and draw it is a little bit Yeah. It's easier. nice to have a comp like a composition of both those things. So I'd hate to draw directly from a photograph because you would just get what's there and you can take that from a photo. But if you can for me, if I can combine what I'm thinking and what I'm seeing in my head mm. with actually what's happening realistically through a photograph, then I, I get quite a cool mm. result. How, how is New Zealand with the, the conservation projects? And, and I mean, I'm super involved in it around our area. Um, I do a lot of the local trapping in Hahe and we've oh. got a few little planting projects on the go as well. So it's huge for me to be able to go out and do that and I walk the dog and we go up all these cool places in the bush and see the kaka and see the, well, I did a kiwi call not so long ago, oh. so we're listening to lots of kiwi and so it's all here for us to see, mm. but it's also a bit frustrating sometimes seeing um, our input as humans and mm. how we do affect that and but you can also see how we can improve that so we've got quite a cool little team in Hahe um, and I know there's a lot around the whole peninsula doing mm. heaps of conservation work so it's it's kicking off quite well at the moment. What is harder to to control the pests or, or, or the the plants <laughs> that are not native and they start to take over and for me, I watch the plants, and but both are as bad as each other. Like once mm. you start looking, it's almost overwhelming. Mm. It just gets pretty full on. Like everywhere you look, there's a pest species of plant, or there's a yeah. rat, or a stoat, or yeah, it's, it's it's a lot of work. It's almost like you can't relax now. Like <laughs> when she came back from her course that she did about the pest before you went to Little Barrier, oh, yeah, yeah. and then every time we'd go for a walk, she'd just be like, "Oh, look at that." Pest. <laughs> Oh, look at that plant. Oh, look at that plant. And it was just like, man, can't we just enjoy this walk? Yeah, like, look at everywhere it. else. But it was just like, no, I've got to, like, oh. Just, yeah. yeah, no, you're right. Mm. Yeah. yeah. It's, um, it's, I think I'm still hopeful that mm. we can make a bit of a dent in it. But some places, like, I'm getting better at just accepting that that's, that's mm. okay. Like, that's, that's well, okay. I guess, the, you know, little barrier gave you hope maybe looking at a place like that that yeah. is now predator free yeah that's and incredible just thriving yeah. like it's an amazing oh, well I, i've never been there but just seeing what bex has seen mm, through photos it sick. looks yeah. amazing so but there's, there's no no predators at all nah and no pest plant species either wow so on wow. the whole island that's no incredible. pest plant species they manage all the really gnarly pest plant species mm. so there's nothing that's actually invasive into the bush oh. there's a little bit on the coastline where birds sort of drop seed and mm. yeah mm. But it's just amazing, the bird song and the plant life. And wow. it's just so cool because you think, oh, that's what it would have been like. like mm. yeah, yeah. I don't know. I don't know if it's, if it's too crazy to, to say something like this. But like when people talk about pest control, what comes to my mind first thing is like, you're going to have to get rid of the, the, the pets. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Hey, that's yeah. A crazy. And, and we have kid. a dog and dogs are one of the biggest killers of kiwis. It's yeah. like. I think the big thing at the moment is like in a community like Hahe, people have been quite worried about us trapping because of cats, mm. because of perceived risks that cats can get into the traps and it could be trapping domestic cats, which is a really hard kind of path to tread because you mm. obviously I don't want to go and catch anyone's pet. Like that's not something I'm currently comfortable with. Like I, I've really struggled to catch a cat, but it's, and it's quite safe what we're doing because of all the protocol around the traps. We've got to use quite specific things. But you're totally right. Like that's a, it's a huge part of it. With dogs, if they're well controlled, if you can control the human to control the dog, <laughs> then it's probably okay mm. in most circumstances. If they're on leash, etc. Cats are really difficult because you just can't control a cat, yeah. <laughs> unfortunately. Yeah, you ask anybody where their cat is right now. Oh, and, no and, idea. Uh, <laughs> you know, no, cats just do what they as want. As much as I love them, yes. it's, yeah, it's a really hard path to tread. But I think um, things that we're targeting, stoats and ferrets especially, target kiwi. And kiwi is generally the conservation focus at the moment. There's heaps of other stuff that 
that benefits from mm. less pests, but um, if a ferret gets hold of a kiwi, then it will go and get every other kiwi. Mm. So that's kind of a focus at the moment for us. They do do um, dog key like yeah. avoidance training. Yeah. Worth a shot, eh? <laughs> it seems to work pretty well. Mm. Yeah. Absolutely. Who looked after the dog when you guys were away? Uh, luckily, we have Gail. Our lovely flatmate. Our lo- Gail. Lovely flatmate at home. <laughs> Shout, Shout out, yeah. Gail. Shout out to Gail. Gail. <laughs> Thank you, Gail. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> she's so good. Yeah. yeah, she's she's basically the the godmother of our dog. Now. <laughs> <laughs> he loves her so much more. Yeah. You just watched to a North Bay show clip. If you want to watch the full show or if you want to see us live, subscribe to our YouTube channel and get notifications about our live streams. We do it three times per week: every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 7 p.m. And if you are more of a listener, go to altbase.nz to find out on which main podcast platforms we're on. Peace.